We're going to Goodwill later. Mm. And we'll have lots more room for guitar. Mm -hmm. more guitar. The big question, the big thing that Marie Kondo says you have to do is basically hold up each item and say, does it bring me joy? And you have got to actually hold it, touch it, feel Check it, spend time with it, and experience your feelings with yes. each clothing. I'm going to spend time with this in the car on the way to Goodwill. I kind of think that's what this process is about, is like learning a little bit about yourself and what you like and what you don't like and... Welcome to the channel. We're just a couple of empty nesters from Tennessee. Well, hey guys. I didn't know you all were hanging out in here. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Are you sleeping? You're so cute. A little bit. Are you mommy sweet girl? Are you mommy sweet girl? There you go. You're sweet. You're sweet. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It's Saturday, February 17th. Welcome all the new subscribers out there. I'm so glad you're here. So this week, you may see behind me all of my clothes are on the bed. Why, you might ask. Well, <laughs> George and I have been reading this book. Here it is. I mentioned it before in a couple of videos, but it is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up the Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Marie Kondo. And... This one is the number one New York Times bestseller, two million copies sold, and pretty much has been moving and shaking people into cleaning up their houses for quite a while now. George started first, you've been hearing me talk about it. I thought he was moving out when he cleaned out his closet. And he seems to think that mine will be fairly empty. I'm not convinced. There is all my clothes. In the book, Marie Kondo tells you Go ahead and put all your clothes on the bed. Now, she really wants you to put your shoes and accessories, scarves, socks, everything. I can't fit all that on my bed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait and do this in several Saturdays. It may not be in a row either. And Marie Kondo suggests that it's probably gonna take about a year for you to get through all of your things. And she suggests that you start with your clothes first because she thinks that's easy. I'm not so sure. <laughs> there are some clothes that I do not have in this bundle behind me here. This bed load of clothes behind me. I have a couple of tubs of clothes that are just a size smaller than what I am right now. I would say some of them are about half a size away. I am so close to getting in those clothes. They are an inspiration for me. And I've already been through those clothes and they all do bring me joy. Otherwise, I would have already tossed them, given them to Goodwill, so, or wherever uh, the chosen charity for the day is. But, whew, I'm, not, oh, hello, thanks for joining me. Are you gonna help me? I rode the Cumberland River Road. Oh, yeah. I hear it's, it's a, a big one. <laughs> quite an exciting ride. Yeah, I guess so. It'll be a sculpture, and halfway it's... through, the rails go off. And it's yeah. illegal to be on it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Goodwill later, mm. and we'll have lots more room for guitar. Mm -hmm. more guitar. We're going to get started on this. So, the big question, the big thing that Marie Kondo says you have to do is basically hold up each item and say, does it bring me joy? And you may ask why I couldn't have just done this from my closet. She says not to, because you've got to actually, Check it. no, no, Check it. <laughs> no. <laughs> this one. You have got to actually hold it, touch it, feel Check it, spend time with it, 
and experience your feelings with it's, each clothing. I'm going to spend time with this in the car on the way to Goodwill. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, so, if you're standing in your closet, the decision-making process is just not complete. So, this is going to be interesting. And no, we do not have enough time to film me going through all of that. So, we're just going to, we're going to get started. We're going to get started. And I also have my off-season clothes. She said, don't be ugly to your off-season clothes. They do not want to be left out. Um, getting the feeling she kind of thinks clothes have feelings. Maybe they do. I'm not so sure, but I didn't leave them out. <laughs> they are included in this process. Uh, then we get to the point of putting it back into the closet, and she suggests that they be folded and be put in another storage, but I have hanging space, and I'm going to use the hanging space. That's what I'm used to, and I can only handle so much change at once. But when you put it back in the closet, there's a method for that too, which means I would have to live out of my closet, picking out of my closet in a completely different way. And I'm really not sure I can do that. I just don't, I've thought about it. I've tried to imagine myself doing it the way she describes, and we'll get to all that later. But um, I think we're gonna have to get started. And let me just tell you, it has been, a little bit of a stressful week because we've had a leak in the house. If you saw the video last week, I'll try to link it here. You can go back and see last week. Um, we've had a leak in the house and we thought it was roof. We thought it was an appliance and turns out it's a copper pipe underneath the floor uh, going to the basement. And uh, we have the water turned off right now. So, We've been a week at this leak, and I'm not going to go into the rest of it here. Um, later in the video, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But anyway, let's get on with what we're doing today. Ought to be interesting. I've got a bag here. I've got several bags. I'm just going to start. Does this bring me joy? Yes. Yes, it does bring me joy. I enjoy wearing this every year. I kind of like the leopard vibe. I have earrings to go with it, and I totally enjoy wearing it. It feels really cool in the summer. Brings me joy. I'm keeping it. I don't really know how this is going to go. Does this bring me joy? I'm going to say yes. It's Levi brand. It's loose. It's comfy. I like wearing it in the summer. I'm really starting to like yellow because lately it's not been sunny enough <laughs> and I'm, I'm the sunshine today. So I decided to wear my yellow sweatshirt for this process and I think it was a good choice and it's reminding me that I love yellow. I wouldn't have had this conversation or these thoughts if I hadn't started this process. So I kind of think that's what this process is about is like, learning a little bit about yourself and what you like and what you don't like. And I've heard that you kind of go through your feelings on a lot of other things too during this process. So it ought to be interesting. All right, keeper. Does this bring me joy? Yes, it does. I really do like stripes. I go against the grain. I like my stripes going sideways, sorry. I also really like long flowy tunics because of the fact that I'm a little chunky girl. I always feel good when I wear this and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it. The only thing I don't like about this is the sleeves are open, but it does bring me joy to wear it. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, okay. This is kind of where it gets tough. Um, this brings me joy as long as I don't wear it to work. So, when I wear it to work, <laughs> these sleeves, they get caught on the chair. 
it's the office armchair. And when I turn around and stuff in my office, it gets caught in there and it drives me nuts. So I'm keeping it, but it's going to be good to wear to church, like with navy blue, blue, navy blue pants. And I've got a blue long necklace. So I'm going to keep it. Does this bring me joy? It once brought me joy. It's just short. It's short to me. I don't know. She said, if you don't really, if something doesn't bring you joy, Marie Kondo says, just bless it, thank it for its service, and send it on its way so that someone else can enjoy it. That would really enjoy it. I just think it's just a little bit too little for me, and I don't really even want to keep it for when I lose weight. So I think that's my sign to let this one go. All right. That's the first thing that's going in the sack. All right. So we're going to do a few more things here. Does this bring me joy? Well, this is where it's going to really get tough for me. Uh, sometimes I've looked at my, my clothes as being uniforms. Sorry, I've been cutting my head off here. I use my clothes like they're uniforms. I guess what I'm trying to say is I really don't like to dress up that much. I really enjoy being in things like these that are comfortable, but I can't always wear things like this to work or church. Well, I could. I'd probably be judged, but... <laughs> You just kind of feel like when you're going to church or to work, you got to dress it up a little bit. And my work, thankfully, does not require us to dress beautifully. Thank goodness those days are over. Um, but we don't even have to wear, you know, business casual is sometimes a little dressier for us. I mean, I've seen people in there. Uh, I won't go there. <laughs> anyway. I'm a little iffy, so I I think this used to bring me joy. One thing that happens with this blouse is that I worry because these it, it, it gets too low sometimes and I'm always having to worry about, I don't want my cleavage to show. And I think with this blouse, it does sometimes. I kind of like it though. And when I was heavier, the cleavage thing didn't show because I, I don't know. I think that I may need to get rid of this and buy something that brings me joy in its place. I'm going to say that this one is done. It kind of makes me a little bit sad, but we had a lot of good times together. We really did. And you served me well. So I see I would have been keeping that if we weren't going through this process. I would have said, mm, not ready yet, but I'm having to literally hold it up and make decisions. Um, I do enjoy wearing this in the summer. Um, I would say I'm going to keep this. It's really pretty with one of the black necklaces that Aunt Martha gave me for Christmas. And it's really cool on those hot summer days. And it's dressy. I think I look better in colors though, but I really do get joy when I wear this. Like when it's hanging there, ready to be worn, I'm like, oh good, I get to wear that this week. So we'll do that. This one, I have mixed feelings about it. This one has brought me joy most of the time. The last time I saw myself in it, I thought I looked really fat in it though. I think this one may pass because it has brought me enough joy that I'm willing to give it another try before I just toss it. It's also one of those wide sleeves that gets hung on my chair at work. So this is kind of one of those Saturday afternoon. I think he's in there drinking Coke just so he can burp in my video. <laughs> He's got to make a presence. It could be worse. It has been worse. It could be worse. Trust me on that one. All right. 
I think I'm going to keep this one. It brings me joy just holding it. So, all right, I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back if I have any interesting insights to share. Let's take a little break and look at what all happened during the week. We had a great Valentine's Day. George and I went to Burger Theory. It was our goal to eat somewhere that would be really quick to get in and out. I hadn't had a burger in a while, a good burger. <laughs> so it was my goal to go and get this cheeseburger with no lettuce, no tomato. And then we went to BJ's Wholesale Club, which is a new place uh, since about Christmas time. Look at this robot. He was doing inventory. Is this not amazing? I have never seen anything like that in my life. It was very kind to stop and talk to me. Well, actually, it just listened. <laughs> but it didn't run, <laughs> run over me or anything. Bye. George got way. me a really nice <laughs> Valentine spread. I got him a chocolate bar because we just don't really swap gifts. But I guess since he's retired, he had time. He, he bought flowers. Now, sometimes he will buy flowers, but he bought wine and champagne, a little hand brush to brush Maddie and Dexter with, pasta. I mean, guys, he just went all out. Look, there's coffee. We like to have this coffee at night sometimes. Uh, we had cute cards. It was great. Now we can mark off Burger Theory from our list, our bucket list, and Valentine's Day. I think it's fun crossing things off the list. Slowly but surely in my sloth-like way. <laughs> I went to Starbucks one day after work, just needed some more energy, and look at this concoction I made at work. Canned chicken, salad cubes, olive oil, vinegar, honey, I don't know, I just made, made this little casserole <laughs> at my desk. It was pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. And check this out. Dexter? Is that really necessary? Well, everyone survived and all is well that ends well in this situation. But man, you really got to put that dog on a short leash because he takes off. So while we're taking a break, let's just talk about this leak. It's kind of a small leak, but it's causing big havoc. Well, guys, the saga continues with the leak. And I usually don't bring you guys down here in the finished basement. Um, we basically live upstairs and anything down here is just kind of storage. Anyway, George has basically moved everything out of the way. The leak is right there. And yes, we have popcorn ceilings. I am not a fan of popcorn ceilings. I did not make the requirement that we change it. And George is not a big fan of fixing anything that ain't broke. So we have popcorn ceilings <laughs> everywhere. The leak is really bad. Supposedly it is our roof, but it has not impacted the upstairs and that just blows my mind. It still continues to drip, even though George got on the roof and tried to uh, patch some things up there with the glue. It's supposedly coming through on the side of the house, taking the path of least resistance and coming down. So I don't really know. It's just a mess everywhere. Serve Pro is coming today and, <laughs> but we can't get the roofer out here. I mean, we've had somebody come and look at it and said, yeah, I can see where the water's coming in, uh, around the sealant, around the chimney, where there's cracks in it, where it's decayed over time. We can't get on the roofer's schedule for them to come out and fix it. And it's been four or five days now and the rain is coming. 
Um, and so George got up on the roof yesterday. I didn't know he was gonna do it. He told me about it at dinner. Scared me to death. He does not need to be up there. But he went to Lowe's, bought some sealant, and tried to fix it. However, it's kind of concerning that it's still leaking, you know? It seems to be leaking even more than it was yesterday. So, I just don't believe it's the roof. I just really think it's something else. I don't know what's going to happen. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so the girls at work took me out for a birthday lunch. My birthday's in January, but because we're in accounting and it was month in, year in, quarter in, all that kind of stuff, we couldn't go out to eat until February. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I had to laugh when it came time to pay using these little machines they have at the table. We have uh, three accountants at the table and none of them could figure out how to pay for our lunch. <laughs> they were trying to split it certain ways and finally had to get the waiter involved. It was hilarious. I didn't have to pay so I didn't have to worry about it, but it was so funny. Okay, so now we are back with another decision. This is one of those uniform type things that I have worn to work in church. I used to really like linen. I still do. I think it's a great material, but I don't like the ironing. And every time I see this shirt, I think about how difficult it is to iron. <laughs> Done is just not wear it as often because it has to be ironed. It's just, you know, it's got these sleeves. It's just, a little harder to iron and the collar I mean it just takes time you know and then it's got these pockets I really like the shirt but and I always wore it open with a black sleeveless top underneath this one is hard so I'm not sure what to do so George once it's ironed I kind of like it hey George let me ask your opinion. What would Marie Kondo do? <laughs> so there's this shirt. Whoa. Should I burn it? <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> so Marie Kondo, what would she say? Because I have to iron this. Like, I like it okay when I wear it. Uh, you know, I'll wear it open with a black sleeveless top to church or to work sometimes, but I have to iron. Uh, what would Marie Kondo do? <laughs> Marie Kondo would tell you that if it brings you joy, keep it. I know. And if it does not bring you joy, discard it. So tell it, thank you for the service you've given me and let someone else enjoy it. What if it sometimes brings me joy? What if it's 50-50? Like, I don't like having to iron you, but I enjoy wearing you some of the time. King Solomon would say, cut it in half. <laughs> keep the half that gives you joy <laughs> and discard the other half. That's not gonna work in this case. So what I'm trying to tell you is Marie Kondo would say that you have to decide what to do with it. So, I mean, you iron all the time, so ironing's not an issue. I mean, if you like it and like it enough to iron it, keep it. If not, I got a big old plastic bag just waiting for all your stuff and the lighter. All right, since I'm undecided, I'm gonna keep it. Undecided probably means that it doesn't immediately bring you joy. I'll just throw that out because I thought that a few times myself. Okay, so I'm not going to put it back in the closet yet. I'm just going to put it in an undecided pile. All right, here's another thing. I really like pink and blue, and I bought this. I'm just not sure. <laughs> like, this goes in an undecided pile. And I can see what's happening here. If I start an undecided pile... I will keep going with undecided. So I kind of feel like I need to make a decision now. Yes. <sighs> what she would say. I wanted to like this, but it makes me feel like a really, 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 really old lady. If I let go, does it mean I get more clothes that I Absolutely like? Absolutely not. That brings me joy. 
<laughs> You're trying to... It also makes me look fat. All right, I'm going to let this go. It gets easier to let them go as you go along. And I'm going to let this go too. To be quite honest, I am really tired of ironing because I don't have time to iron. The linen things are just hard to iron and I can't believe I'm doing this because normally I would just make myself wear these things until they wore out. You know, I like my stripes and I think this is fine. I think I probably need to try it on again, but I'm not gonna do that in front of the camera. So that kind of makes me have to go with a later pile on that. This one, I'm just gonna say, oh geez, this is hard. I'm gonna let this one go because of several reasons. Okay, I love the colors in it. I think it looked really good on me, but over time, it's kind of lost its shape. Like, even when you iron it, it just kind of hangs funny, and then it's got this funny little slit in the back that really doesn't fall center, and then it's hard to iron it. Um, it's got this little turned up sleeve and I've been trying not to buy these anymore because it's just so hard to iron that or to make it look flat. So I'm going to let it go. This is getting a little scary. Am I going to have any clothes left? I really, really love the design in this and I think it looked really good with my complexion. But when it, the way it hung on me was just not good. It just, it looked cheap. Absolutely love this one. Absolutely love this one. It's got the little slit in the arms. It's good for a good summer day. It hangs well on me. It's got nice pleats. I do feel joy when I wear this. I have a special necklace that I wear with it and it's a keeper. All right. Dexter, what's going on? You good boy? Are you a good boy? Wag your tail. You are a good boy. Looks like mama's kicking you, but she's really not. I'm not. Got my Crocs going. And they bring me joy. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on time lapse. So <laughs> if you get bored with me, you can always watch George. And uh, she's in love. Maddie is, you can't see her, but she's over here in the chair. Uh, rooted her off the bed with the clothes. So let's do time lapse and see what happens. Okay, so I got to a hard part again. <laughs> All week when I knew I was gonna be making this video, I kept seeing this sweater and I'm like, oh, this, this is really gonna be hard because I really like it and I don't know why I don't wear it more often. In a way, it kind of seems like it's kind of out of style with the design, maybe. You know, I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna wear it this Sunday maybe and see how I like it. So, what? I'll throw that out. I had a few t-shirts, which you know, I had as many t-shirts as you have clothes. Combined, they're almost as many as Nana has. Yeah. But anyway, I had some t-shirts that I wasn't quite sure about and that's what I decided to do. I thought, I'm gonna keep this one. That's so they can hear you. <laughs> and I'm gonna wear it one more time. And if I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't like it, then I'll get rid of it. I okay. had to get rid of five garbage bags worth of t-shirts. So as you get deeper and deeper into it and want to go faster and faster to clear the bed off, I think you'll find that if you're not sure about something, you actually are sure about it. It means it does not bring you the amount of joy. And that's the time when you have to say, thank you for making me happy in the past. And I'm going to now let someone else enjoy you. That's just the way I approached it. You know, you got to do your own, your own thing. So, all right, I'm going to keep that one. Okay, guys, so I'm trying to, like, give you examples of what I'm going through. We got started doing the video, and you saw me start 
um, but as I'm coming across some weird situations, I'm wanting to talk about it a little bit. So I've got some sweaters here and you know, they're just cardigans and it's like at one time the card the cardigans were just really popular and you would wear a cardigan. Uh, why do I keep wanting to call it a cardigan? A cardigan and you'd wear something underneath it and it just kind of looked like a business suit, but it wasn't really a business suit. Number one, I think it's probably a size small for me. Is it modern still? I, well, it's like when you need a black cardigan, it's nice to have one, but kind of truthfully, this one is kind of faded. So I think I may just go ahead and let it go. There you go. I just, that's what's hard is like, am I gonna come in here one day and need a black cardigan? But the reason I haven't worn this is because it just feels like it chokes me when I wear it. It's just too tight, I guess. That's all you need to know. But this is why you have to touch these things so you can walk yourself through it. I have a brown one. Woo. It is probably still a size too small. The gray one. I guess we bought one in every color because I liked them so much. This I actually wear on cold mornings in the house. And I'll have on my pajamas and if I get cold, I'll just kind of reach for that. So since I have worn this one in the past year, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. And this one, multicolored. I really like this one a whole lot. I just don't have anything blue to wear with it, but if I did, I would wear it. I like this one, it gives me joy, I'm gonna keep it. Let's talk about this one for a second. Here, let me get the lighting to where it's a little bit better. Hmm. All right, so I bought this one at a consignment shop. I pulled it out of the closet and I'm like, uh, why did I buy this? And it's probably because of the fact that sometimes it's hard for me to get out and find clothes. I saw this and it was my size and it was probably fall, but now I'm I'm a little confused. It's like, if I pull this out of the closet and go, that's ugly, why did I buy that? It still has the price tag on it, which means I haven't worn it yet. Normally when you buy something new you really like, you wear it <laughs> pretty immediately. I just don't think this is gonna look good on me. I don't think I'm going to enjoy wearing it. And it makes me question sometimes that I don't buy things just to have something to wear. Or maybe it's just that I need consoling in some kind of way and retail therapy's always been kind of my thing, but I'm letting something go that's got a price tag on it. And to me, that is a red flag. And so I think this is one of those learning processes of really learning some discipline to go through and, and do this process and asking yourself some serious questions like why, why did I buy this? Now, one thing is I have a pair of brown pants this color. Can't find anything really to go with it that I like. So I probably ended up with this and I think I'm just going to let this one go because it immediately did not bring, bring me joy. When I pulled it out of the stack, I'm like, why did I even buy that? <laughs> ah, learning. Learning some things about myself. So, I'm going to let this one go. Let it go. Uh, 
um, I'm almost through. So far, I have four bags of clothes. It feels like I've gotten rid of a lot. And I guess I have. Um, it feels freeing. She said you would feel some things as you finished the project. And as I'm finishing it, I'm realizing, wow, I will never wear anything that doesn't bring me joy anymore. I'm never going to feel obligated to wear something just because I bought it or that it's in my closet. I don't know. I feel like a lot of burdens have been lifted in a way. It's like I'm just not having to make myself wear things that I don't enjoy wearing anymore. And that feels really good. So I can see where when you start with your clothes, it can help you as you go through the rest of the house. So I have some, what I'm guessing is pajama-like activity to go through here. Pajama-like pajama -like clothes to go through. Uh, and then I have my seasonal tubs I brought up. These are going to be t-shirts, purses, and things like that. Uh, I'll probably go through and do those today. But all of these things in my closet, like up there, I think I'm going to wait for next week to do things like purses, shoes, scarves, socks, and it may even be the week after next. I think next week we're going to just kind of clean up the house and put out the spring stuff. I'm ready for, I'm ready to put out some spring stuff. So just kind of need to do a home refresh next week and then we'll pick up with the Marie Kondo cleaning. Oh, look at this. She tired of your clothes. <laughs> Bless her. All right. Let's finish up here. Well, I'm really surprised. Now, I don't have this in order how she said to do it. I mean, I kind of do. I got all the heavy stuff over here. And then I've got all the lighter stuff over here. And... Big surprise on this. I have decided to let this go. I just, the design is just a little overpowering for me right now. And also the way that it's been hanging, it it's out of shape. You know, it's just, I think it's past its prime. I think I'm going to let it go. I think I put this on before in the past and it just didn't bring me joy. And it's also one of those things you have to take off immediately because it's just too much. It's just too much to work in. And I'm ready to get out of it when I come home from church. So I think there's just a reason. It's cute, but it doesn't serve me anymore. So anyway, back to the closet. She says to put the heavier pieces on the left and the lighter pieces on the right. Um, so surprisingly, all of my clothes are now fitting in one closet. Can you believe I got rid of a whole closet worth of clothes? <laughs> and when I told you guys, part of my goal this year is to buy some color and put it in my wardrobe because they're just drab. Like, I love all these clothes, though, that I've kept. But I need some lighter pieces. I need some, I love turquoise and I love blue and I love gray. And so I end up having a lot of dark clothes. Now, this closet is still too tight for me as far as um, being able to pull from it. So I'm probably going to definitely have to work on how I want to organize it. So. I'm still only three-fourths of the way through her book. She says to keep all your clothes together, but I really like having my off-season clothes in a different spot. And I actually do enjoy when the seasons change 
um, to swap some pieces out. And it's very easy because it's just next door. And it's fun for me to do that. So I think I'm going to pull Christmas out of here. I'm going to pull the really heavy, heavy sweaters out of here. I'm going to pull all the whites out of here because I'm not ready for them to be in here yet. It's not quite summer. I'm going to pull out all of the really summery, summery stuff that are just lightweight that we can't wear until like May or June. So, <clears throat> but I have fewer pieces to pull from. I only like to pull from what I know I'm going to be wearing and the rest of it just to be somewhere else. Now that's that's different from what she suggests, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I may take her suggestion for what is left in here and put the heavier pieces on the left and the lighter pieces on the right. And I may just keep the pants in the middle. So we did have a good Valentine's Day, and there's probably some clips of that in here, but... Um, Last Saturday, we had that leak to start. We didn't really know what it was. We just really couldn't get hardly anybody to help us. And now um, we have a plumber coming, but he's probably not gonna be here till, hi Dexter, hi Maddie. He's not gonna be here till next week. Um, so once we get the plumber here, I think things will be okay. Butler's plumbing, great plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, Saturday night here. We had a great time with our family at Uncle Julio's in Brentwood, Tennessee. And we're back home with the dogs. I'm actually in my PJs right now. And wasn't expecting the fiasco we're having right now. Come here, buddy. How come Dexter fell off the bed? Oh, Dexter. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> so, it was it was a great practice to go through the clothes. Um, I got rid of five bags, I believe. And actually, the things that are left are things that I absolutely love that bring me joy. Six bags. I went through and did one when you were done. Right? So, with the clothes... Um, little practice we did today going through everything. I was really worried that I wasn't going to have any clothes left to wear, but you know, I have tons of clothes left to wear. Uh, as George pointed out earlier, you know, I really just weeded out the things that I hardly ever wore. Anyway, there were some of it that I wore that I just wore it like a uniform or I just wasn't really happy wearing it, but just made myself wear it. So now I will look forward to getting dressed in the mornings. <laughs> uh, I did happen to think I have more clothes though in the coat closet, which I think is really coats and maybe a few coats downstairs. I totally forgot about those. We'll save that for another day. Why are you, do you have a point that you want to make? Okay. So I'm going to close off the blog here. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it was fun, different, and interesting for me. Anyway, I'm about to go to bed. I need to go to sleep. We've got church tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you here in our little community and we'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you guys for being here. Bye now.